True words spoken. Let's talk about this for a sec. Drew Titan with the Painful Excellence Podcast. You know, every now and again, I'll come across a meme with some spoken words on it. And um, a lot of times they will bring me to a place in life where um, the words are relevant. And I just get a little like, like chuckle, I'm like, wow. And um, I think uh, I'm gonna do this quite often. Let's call this keep in mind. This will be my first installment of it. This one says, always remember that some people will gossip and talk about you because when they talk about themselves, no one cares. Is that not the signs of a miserable person? You know what's sad about a miserable person? A miserable, miserable person. What's, what's, what's sad about a miserable person is that um, they may have something special going on in their life but they're too busy worried about you and everyone else that they miss their own blessings. They really don't understand how good their life is or could be. But they're so busy focused on you and everything else and things that they shouldn't be focused on. Things that don't make them any money because they're so focused on you and everyone else's blessings around them. Let me share a quick story with you. Back in the days when I was in high school, um, you know, I hung out with a group of guys, whatever, and there was always this, you know, group of girls. I don't want to call them rivals. It was just, you know, girls that we hung out with, you know. You know, you're young, you're going through puberty and things of that nature, whatever, so, you know, you pick a girl you like and you talk to her, you know, and... Um, <laughs> Man, this is ridiculous. Um, two friends of mine, you know, we all in the same group of guys, you know, two friends of mine, they had like the same girl. And um, the girl chose one of them, right? The other fella, now mind you, we're all cool. The other fella, um, she friends on him. Y'all like you like a brother. Ladies, you tell a man that, that scars us, and we don't forget it. We don't forget it. All right? That's another topic. But she friends only. them. So that is what it is. The woman made the decision. Fine. Along the school year, um, some friction came up. Um, you know, the... When you're that age, you're easily manipulated, you know, with gossip and rumors and um, allegedly, well, not allegedly, because we found out later, um, you know, she's running around all mad at uh, the other friend of mine that she chose because, you know, it's like, oh, you know, why are you, I'm hearing that you saying this about me and that about me and da 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 And we're on the outside looking in like, whoa. We didn't hear that, and he didn't say that. And he's telling her, yo, I didn't say that. You know, don't believe these girls, and don't believe that, and don't believe that. Nah, nah, nah. Long story short, this went on from like September, October, all the way to damn near end of the school year. And when we got to the bottom line, I mean, it was like a movie. When we got to the bottom line of it, um, we realized that it was our other friend. That was the root of the issue. And we had to pull him to the side like, yo, man, what are you doing? That was you that said this, this, and that? And he was caught. And he just like, you know, turned his face up. Nah, F that. And, you know, he think he this, he think he that. And we just say, yo, my man, this can't be over shorty. It can't be over her. Can it? Can it really be over her? And he just got quiet. I'm like, yo, my man, 
all this time, this was you putting the monkey wrench in the middle of their situation? Yo, people almost got into fist fights over things that you said or whatever. That was you. With the, yo, bro, first of all, I thought we was all cool. Second of all, what do you care about her? Didn't you say y'all hung out and she friend zoned you? Didn't you say that? That's what you mad at him for. Now, here's why I'm bringing this story up. Because here's, here, here's, here was the funniest part. Whole time, he was inserting himself into their business. Remember, the other young lady hung out with a group of girls. Right? At no point did he even stop to realize that one of her friends, who in our opinion looked better than her, looked better than her, you know, with visual creatures, looked better than her, liked him. I don't understand it. We didn't find out until like towards the end of the school year. When we put everything together and we understood what was happening, she said, man, that's why I I, I, I felt funny about him. That's why I decided not to talk to him. We was like, huh? Decided, wait, wait, what, what? She said, yeah, I liked him. I really liked him. He's well-spoken. I really liked him. I was like, wait a minute, what? She's like, I was going to talk to him. I was scared. And then I stepped off because he tried to holler at so-and-so. So I just, I just stepped to the side. But I liked him. When she started dealing with your friend, I was going to go for him, but uh, he just started acting funny. Ain't that something? The fella was so worried about our other boy that he didn't even stop to count his own blessings. The prettier girl wanted to holler at him. We, we, we were banging our heads on the wall like, what? Well, should we tell him? Nope. She said, nope, 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 nope. He did all of this. Nope. I don't want to deal with that. We told him and he said, yo, nah, y'all lying. No. No. We were not lying to him. He said, yo, man, you know, so-and-so, you know, she wants to talk to you. And you blew it because of your behavior. All that gossip. All of that stuff, all that mischief he was creating. Because he felt that if he talked about himself or just kept himself and minded his own business, that no one would care. Everyone that minds your business, that has, when it's really none of their business, no one cares about them. That's how they feel. And in the most cases, that's true. No one cares. That's why they're always in your face. That's why they're always talking about you. Isn't that not the mind of a troll? No one cares. I'm still cool with my boy this day. You know, we laugh about it now. You know, we're all grown. But damn, he openly admits that's that's like an embarrassing point of his life. Yeah. So I saw this meme and I said, wow, man, this is this is kind of deep. It kind of hits hits home for me. I read this and I immediately thought about that situation because he knew that his behavior was unbecoming. But he went he went down a, a, a path that was so dark and it was so deep that he just couldn't stop. People kept coming to him and asking, well, what happened then? What happened then? And he kept having to build on lie after lie after lie. And you know how it is. Well, I'm going to tell you this, but don't say anything. And somehow it got out because people always talk. It got out. And when we went and spoke to him about it, he couldn't deny it. But he learned from it. And he was kicking himself in the ass because Shorty's friend really liked him. And if he had knew that, he'd have been dealing with her. If he knew. But he got consumed. He got consumed with jealousy, with envy. It turned into gossip. And all the people he was talking to, they didn't care about him. They were just there for the story, the gossip. They didn't care about him. They weren't his friends. But he learned the lesson. And I learned by watching. So when I saw this meme, I said, wow, this is, this is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, stay true to yourself. And when people are talking about you, 
even in the, on social media i see it every day you got youtubers making videos about other youtubers you got people on you know kids getting into fist fights over something that's said on instagram and you know you got people talking about you in different countries and if you respond they make a response video and then they talk about pull up pull up where i'm in america you're all the way like in australia somewhere pull up what you mean reality you shouldn't get on social media to make enemies it's social get on here in peace make friends but i know what it's like and i'm not perfect i've responded in the past to people well not on youtube but you know i just refuse to uh once i understood that this is the way that people communicate now i just refuse to participate in the nonsense because when they gossip and talk about you, in reality, when they talk about themselves, no one cares. So, you know, I hope this, uh, uh, this helps people. Cause, uh, this was, this was a, this was a cute little read. So thanks for listening. Drew Titan with the painful excellence podcast. Be on the lookout. We coming, baby.